The demons have been exercised. What's up, Caps fans? Boy, that Alex Ovechkin rocket shot felt like coming up for air after being underwater for a really long time, didn't it? We can breathe at long last. Okay, let's get into this video before I start crying. <laughs> God damn it, I just love Alex Ovechkin so much. First period, the suddenly hot Caps power play gets an opportunity and they score! Alex Ovechkin! <sighs> no, Anthony Mantha. Anthony Mantha deflects it on the way in. Ah! <laughs> Not to be dramatic, but that is cause to trade Anthony Mantha tomorrow. This guy is clearly a sleeper agent for Wayne Gretzky! Oh, Janae, you're not being rational. Rational? Rational. How many games has it been now? How many games has it been since Alex Ovechkin has scored a goal? Rational has left the building. Rational left the building about five or six games ago now, if I'm being honest. I'm out here dying of thirst in the desert and I need some water. <sighs> Anyways, Anthony Mantha, not Alex Ovechkin, scores. And so it is one to nothing for your Washington Capitals. The non-Alex Ovechkin goal was assisted by Alex Ovechkin and also by John Carlson. I'm just kidding, by the way. I'm happy about the lead. Second period. That dude who dated Tate McRae ties it up for the Blue Jackets, but just a couple of minutes after that, the Cavs would answer back again with another goal of their own, and it is Anthony Mantha again. I was just kidding about wanting to trade you, by the way. Hee <laughs> hee. That Anthony Mantha goal is assisted by Alexei Protas and John Carlson. And what a sick, sick play by the youngster, Alexei Protas there, uh, to set up Mantha for that one. He receives the pass from Carlson and just sends it straight over to Mantha all in one motion. Saucy, saucy stuff from Alexei Protas there. And it is two to one for your Washington Capitals. And just in case you're keeping track at home, Caps captain Alex Ovechkin hit another poster in the second period. <laughs> this is fine. Third period, not much happened other than Columbus tying the game. So we are going to skip ahead to overtime where Columbus netminder Elvis Merzlikens loses his damn mind. So Tom Wilson, right? He gets pushed into the net here. Um, Martin Ferrari has a chance on Elvis Merzlikens. Uh, Tom Wilson is crashing the net hard, as he should, trying to get that rebound, which was completely loose. Um, and as Wilson is going for the puck, he's also very clearly being pushed into the net uh, by the Columbus defender. And that's key here because, like, I'm a goalie and I really don't understand like what Merzlikens problem is here because like everybody and their grandmothers can see that Tom Wilson is clearly being pushed into the net by the Columbus defender. Um, and then, you know, so Wilson goes crashing into the net. Uh, Elvis Merzlikens then traps Wilson in the net and he's not letting him get up. And then Elvis Merzlikens, he just starts like throwing haymakers at Tom Wilson using his blocker, which is totally illegal. Um, and so Merzlikens, he rightfully gets tagged with a penalty here. And Columbus fans can whine all they want about Tom Wilson not getting a penalty there. Um, but the fact is that Merzlikens was, like I said, using his blocker as the thing that was sucker punching Tom Wilson. And so Merzlikens actually should have gotten a match penalty there, not a two minute minor. And oh, so many props to Tom Wilson for holding his composure there. You know that he was just dying to beat Merzlikens into a bloody pulp here, but he didn't. And the reason why he didn't is because he recognized that his team was about to go on the power play with an opportunity to win the hockey game. And ultimately, the two standings points are more important than teaching a mediocre goalie on a shitty team a lesson. 
Wilson and the rest of the Caps were certainly having a good laugh about it in the locker room afterwards, though. Um, you know, Wilson's teammates are basically like, you know, hey, Willie, thanks for letting that douche nozzle live so that we could win the hockey game. So on that power play that Elvis Merzlikens so generously provided to the Washington Capitals, um, Dylan Strom, he would tee up none other than Alex Ovechkin, and this time he scores, baby, for real this time. Um, no deflections or anything, you know, nothing that's possibly going to take that goal away from him. Not this time, Satan, okay? Not this time. Um, it is just a straight up snipe that beats Merzlikens clean. Game over, Washington Capitals win. That overtime game winner is assisted by Dylan Strom and John Carlson again. Um, three assists on the night for John Carlson and for Alex Ovechkin, that goal marks another absolutely huge milestone as it is the 900th goal of his NHL career, uh, regular season and playoffs combined. He is only the second player in NHL history to score 900 total career goals with the only other player being Wayne Gretzky. It was also the 26th overtime goal of Alex Ovechkin's career, uh, which he already owns the record for, so he's just extending his own record there at this point. Um, and he is also in second place all time in NHL history uh, in game-winning goals as well, uh, behind only Yarmer Yager for that one. And he is in very, very, very good shape uh, to break that record too by the time that his current contract is up. This is what a goat looks like, folks, okay? What does a goat do? Bah, bah, no, that's a sheep. And shout out to Chucky Lindgren between the pipes, stops 34 of 36 Blue Jacket shots, another phenomenal performance by him, um, you know, which is simply becoming the norm for him now at this point in a Washington Capitals jersey. All right, Caps fans, that is it for this one. You know the drill by now. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button down below. If you really enjoyed the video, hit that subscribe button too. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it so, so, so much. And until next time, babes, and as always, let's go Caps.